today we're doing something a little different. We're outside. The weather's nice. It's fall. I might hear some background cars. If you do, I'm sorry. It's just really nice outside today. Uh, today, what are we doing? We're going to create a new series right now. And we're going to do some conspiracy theory videos for the next few videos. We're still going to do our challenges and the car talk once a week. But we're going to add some conspiracy theories also in for the season of October. Just something a little more spookier. Um, today is going to be the Eye of Providence and the Illuminati. Yes, and the New World Order. Yes, so I'm going to talk about more of the history of Illuminati, and you're going to talk more of the current day yeah. theories, right? Correct. Okay. Okay. okay, so if I look down, it's because I have notes in front of me. So. <laughs> can't memorize it all. No, I can't. Okay, so the Eye is for Eye of Providence, the Eye of God of all is seen Eye. Um, I have a dollar bill here to show you. Can you see that? Yeah. Yeah. It's so that eye. Okay, so it represents the eye of God watching over humanity. So my thought is of why it's correlated with the Illuminati is that it's the eye of the Illuminati watching over all of us. Yeah, that's, that's kind of where I'm at with it. Um, so the Illuminati was a secret society referred to as the Bavarian Illuminati. Um, it was an Enlightenment secret society um, found on May 1st of 1776. And it is said to only last until 1785. Um, it was founded by Adam. I'm going to pronounce his last name wrong. It's Wash, Washput, um, who was a German law professor and wanted to educate members that um, that could hold power in political decisions. Um, they didn't trust anyone over 30 because they said that they were too set in their ways already and they couldn't change their minds on anything. I, I can see it because like older people were kind of like sent in their ways. Yeah. Okay. And then it said they disappeared in 1785 because the Duke of Bavaria created it um, pretty much banned secret societies and there was severe punishment to anybody that was in one or joined one. Right. And that's like how they witchcraft. And shit. Yep. And that's right. how they disappeared. Said to disappear. Okay. Is that all I got? Yep. That's the history. Uh. But not very much. <laughs> it's real uh. hard to find anything. So yeah. Um, I think the new day and age of uh, the Illuminati is basically... Because there's like two sides of it, right? Yeah. In my eyes, there's two sides. There's one Illuminati where you do a deal with the devil and become famous or rich or whatever you want. Yeah. Or there's the Illuminati where it's like a secret society that, you know, runs everything, basically. Yeah. But the question is, does it just run the U.S. or does it run the whole world? Because the U.S. is way different from any other country. Yeah. So are they just, like, focusing on the U.S. and then not worrying about everything else? Or What if they have control over the whole world and they're having different parts of the world go through different things right now and, and like it an has, experiment. like, one big scheme at the end of it? It could be. Yeah. And I have a feeling, like, a lot of people think the Illuminati is the government. I don't believe that. I think it's basically the government is their puppet. Like, they're above the government. Yeah. Like, they control the government, even. Yeah, they have... They know. have control. Yeah, they have control over the government. They have somebody within the government that controls. Do I think the Illuminati is the government? No. Do I think the Illuminati has a person involved in the government that can easily persuade other members and get things how they want it? Yeah. And remember, these are all just conspiracy theories. Yeah. None of this we know is real or not. There could not even be um, Illuminati still to this day. There could have never been Illuminati. We really would never know. Yeah. Because back then, somebody could just wrote that, you know, and said, hey, this is what happened so long ago. But I would like to know is how it came out to be something. I think it had something to do with, like, the Masonaries. Yeah. Because the Masonaries used to be a secret society. Yes. And now they're all for, you know, the So, what the I state. had read was that um, the Adam Washaput yeah. wanted to be a part of the frame. Freemasonaries? Masonary. No, it wasn't Masonaries. It was... Freemason. Yeah, I think so. Okay. Um, wanted to be a part of that, but he couldn't afford the entrance fee in order to be within that group. So then he created his own group that he said would take over the world and would hold political decisions. And it was like a self-improvement, self-awareness was the goals and everything. So he created the Illuminati because he couldn't afford the 
entrance fee to be within the Freemasonaries. That's different. Yeah. That's I what wonder I mean. if um if you know like uh if if that if that was how it was back then, if it's still that then maybe like you're born into it like royalty. Like their kids, know, maybe, their kids. Yeah. Cause how else would you be you're a like member? grandfather Dan? Yeah. Well, I don't know because then I was doing research and I found this website called Illuminati IlluminatiOfficial.org and it's like you can register to be with Illuminati. I don't think it's like a valuable website. I think it's a spam website. Right. But it's like set up money. as like an official Illuminati webpage, all their beliefs and everything and then there's like a way to sign up and contact them to be involved and so it's like is it one of those things where that's really how you can get involved? And they're just trying I, to make people be wary of it. So I not highly doubt do you could just put or in an email just, address and I don't be, know what the, Let me see if I can find it. And be a part of something like that. Yeah, that's what I thought. I think it's just a spam, but... Yeah, see. because I know uh, there's been a lot of documentaries about... Illuminatiofficial.org um, Go ahead and tag it for them. <laughs> I know, right? See, so this is different than the website I pulled up. So that's why I don't think it's true. Yeah, it's probably not. Because now my phone's being weird, so let's close out of that. <laughs> Anyways, but, um, yeah, who knows if the Illuminati's a real thing or not. It could have just been a made-up fairy tale. Or it could be something real. You yeah, know? it could still be something real. We never know. But it's crazy to think, you know, it's just crazy to think that something like that would be a thing, you know? Maybe yeah. we're just all in a, I don't know. Rob's puppets. Yeah, that's crazy to think about. Yeah. What do you guys think with the Illuminati? Illuminati. <laughs> Illuminati. <laughs> Illuminati. Do you think that they are still a society? Do you think that they ever were a society? Do you think And what do more they do? It? Yeah. What do you think they do? Is it just like a group that gets together, chills, and then goes home at the end of the day? I don't know, you know. Yeah, it's kind of weird to think about, but it is weird that the Illuminati, the Masonary, all have the same symbol as the dollar bill. Yep, the I feel, Eye Pyramid. Yeah, I feel like that's uh, I feel like that's a little weird. There was um, I was reading an article and they were trying to think. There was like the conspiracies of the Illuminati, and they were trying to figure out like how the Pyramid of the Eye was involved with the Illuminati. And some little kid had thought that the pyramid is King Tut's tomb, and that the Illuminati actually dates back all the way to King Tut's tomb. Well, isn't King Tut's tomb And that's tomb why in the a pyramid? pyramid. Yeah, and that's why the pyramid is with the eye. Oh. Yeah, is that it dates back further than we think? Yeah, because it's kind of weird to have a. I I get it. It's supposed to be an overseeing eye of God, but why would he be on top of a pyramid? Yeah. Why wouldn't there just be an eye there? Instead of a pyramid, yeah. or why wouldn't be there there'd be like a mini earth with an eye or a mini, yeah? You know? And what's even weirder than that is this is U.S. money, mm -hmm. right? And a pyramid's not even in the U.S., yeah. it's in a different country. It's something to think about. Yeah, did the Illuminati make the pyramids? Ooh. Did they? Do you think they did? And maybe that's where back then. They held their meetings or their Yeah, and had like whatever. tunnels and everything in there. Yeah. Could be. Wow. That's something to think about. That is crazy. Yeah, Just to that's dig kind of in to and think, to think you know, about it and everything like that. Um, yeah, let us know what you guys think. You know, like I said, these are all conspiracy theories. Um, you know, I have a hard time believing there'd be somebody that we're puppets to. Like, I have a hard time. Th I have a hard time believing it, but I think it's because I don't want to believe it. Well, but right, no one wants to believe that. It's also very easy to believe, especially with the way things are going right now in this world. It's so easy to think that there's someone on the inside that is just controlling everything. But see, so it's like, what, what, is. what do you think? It's a group just pushing buttons and controlling everything? No, I think it's a group finding their way to weasel in and create maybe their own conspiracy theories within the office or something like that. So that it gets everybody on to the side that and they And if want. there is a... I think it's Luminati. just very... I what think it's just a group of very manipulative people that are able to just manipulate anybody into anything they want. And then they just end up getting full control. So, like, what do you think they're trying to get control of? The world? Like, what do they want yeah, with the world? when I did the research, that was their main goal. Was to get control of the world and for self-awareness. Self-awareness and self-advancement. Oh. Uh, huh. Yeah. 
That's interesting to think about, honestly. Yeah. But hey, guys, let us know what you think. We really want to know um, down in the comments. Mm -hmm. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment. Yep, let us know any other um, conspiracy theories you guys would let us or want us to go over. Hopefully, not too creepy of one. <laughs> See you guys. <laughs> Bye.